then so today we are solving this problem maximum manhattan distance after k changes so we are given a string s which consisting of the character n s e w which anchor for north south east west kind of things okay so their si indicate the movement uh, in a grid okay you can visualize like this so so uh, you can see here Oh, this is like a coordinate where oh, this is east you can consider this is east then this is west this is north and the opposite of it is south okay so in the question it is given that we have to find the manhattan distance so initially it is saying that initially you are at the origin zero zero you can change at most k characters to any of the four directions in the given string okay so oh, we are also given a value k okay so we have to find the maximum manhattan distance from the origin that can be achieved at any time it's not only the final one but any time during the movements okay so let's take one example here so for example this is our string n w s e for uh, for a moment let's say k is not there at all so how would it perform it would first of all we will traverse from here so see here we are initially at uh, at this location right zero zero but we have to uh, traverse uh, according to this string right so initially we are at zero zero but it is saying go for north so n so we will in one movement we will go in one unit so n it would be here then it says w then we will move one unit in this direction then it says south so when we will uh, we will come back to the x-axis then it is says east then we are coming back here right so finally we are coming to zero itself but during the process what was the maximum manhattan distance you guys know manhattan distance is x1 minus x2 y1 minus minus y2 so this is their absolute difference okay uh, ignore about the negative values take only the differences positive differences so during this process what could be the maximum manhattan distance here so we initially went here and it was uh, one right so uh, it was uh, one only then we moved to w so we came here so at that time it was one and one right coordinate were minus one and one you can consider so manhattan distance was two at this location then we came back here then it was manhattan distance was one finally we came here so during this traversal during this traversal we found that uh, two was the maximum traversal two was the maximum manhattan distance right so let's read the question further yeah so uh, we took this example now in there there is k also given okay now with this help of the k we have to find that what could be the maximum manhattan distance okay let's say uh, we are doing the traversal of this string so initially we are at zero zero right so initially i have taken x1 equal to zero and y1 also equal to zero right we are at we are starting from this uh, origin coordinate which is zero zero always so first move we are moving towards north okay so let's say one unit we are moving towards north so what would be the new values here so what is the x2 x2 is still zero but y2 what is y2 become one right because in one movement we can moving the one unit right so we can say we reach here now uh, next thing is w so we have to move towards uh, one unit towards w okay best right so it would be something like one unit like here okay so this will be uh, now what would be the new values of x2 and y2 so this time x2 is minus 1 right x2 is minus 1 y2 is still 1 okay and next one y1 is initial value which is 0 0 so uh, can we find the what is the manhattan unit when 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 we reach here what was the manhattan distance so uh, at the first point when we landed at here the manhattan distance was uh, x1 minus x2 this is 0 and y1 minus y2 this is 1 right so initially we found the manhattan distance 1 here so at this point at this point manhattan distance was 1 okay now we reached here so x2 and y2 was minus 1 and 1 so what do the manhattan distance the difference this would be uh, 1 plus 1 right if you put these values into this formula it would be like 0 minus minus 1 so and uh, y 0 minus minus uh, 0 minus 1 so anyway the difference is 1 plus 1 so at this point it is 2 when we reached here it is 2 now we are coming to this guy south right so in south we have to move by one unit so it would coming here 
now this time you can understand here that uh, y coordinate now became 0 so y coordinate became 0 and uh, this guy is still minus 1 so what would be the Manhattan distance if you put this in this formula you will find that Manhattan distance is again 1 now we are moving uh, the, the last one is e so e would be bring us to the start position here original one so now our x2 and y2 what it is both of them became 0 right so when both of them become 0 what will the Manhattan distance Manhattan distance also 0 now during this traversal we have found that what is the maximum here so you guys can observe 2 is maximum here so this is happening when we are not using k now as per given in the question we can in uh, move the any character of n w s e okay we can change at most k times okay so using this k what should be what the thing is how should we pick that which one we should change should be back w to s or s to e whatever it could be so we have to find what could give us the maximum manhattan distance at some point of time we have to make this kind of transformation into this string so you guys observe one thing that whenever moving towards n if there is some south comes okay like n and s if they are appearing they are basically countering correct you can see observe here one thing let's say uh, we are moving towards north by one but at the next point if we are moving towards the south then we are coming back to that position that means in the string corresponding to north if if we convert this s also also to n only in that case let's say consider we have a string like this n and s okay so n and s would be first it will bring us to here and then bring back to the original position but if i change this s okay if i change this s equal to n itself in that case what will happen in that case i will move two times okay I will move two times instead of coming back right so when we were having the n and s at that time we were going initially by one and then coming back to the zero but in case of if i change that s to n we will go two times right we are going further two times okay so in this case what is happening we can do one thing here we have one thing that whoever either n and s combination because both of them are opposite to each other n and s combination or e and w combination okay so in any string whoever came minimum number of time okay whoever came minimum number of time let's say n n n and s okay so in this case what is happening n came three times and s came one times so if i convert s okay to n this will give me more values right because in this case i will go four times into the same direction so it will every time will give me the two times more right because in case of n n n s n n n s i was i was finally getting two two distance away but if i change this s i am getting four so you can observe it came uh, it is adding value two okay in one one change it is giving me extra two right so in with this approach we will go greedily to change our uh, string okay so now we will take this example only the one which we, we are given in the question so what we will do here you can observe here n came one time s came one time w came one time and then e came e also came one time okay this is ist so either s we can change because n and s both came uh, only one time so uh, minimum is also one time so let's say if i convert this s to n it would look like this n w n e right because so because k is one so only one change we can do now if we do the same traversal what will happen so you we have to pick the opposite uh, and the minimum one okay we will take one more example to better understand it but let's start with the simple one okay so what will happen in this case when we have uh, k equal to one so we have convert this uh, this one uh, this n also okay so what will happen we are starting from here so in first first n we reach here one point then we came here 
towards W one point. Okay, so at this point the Manhattan distance was two. Now again we went n. Okay, so uh, this we came here, right? So it would be like uh, uh, the coordinate would be one and two minus one and two. So Manhattan distance at this point would be three, right? Then we have east, right? Then we will come back here. So again this is uh, three. Yeah, so this this would be two, and uh, this x coordinate becomes zero. So uh, what was the Manhattan distance? Here Manhattan distance was one. Here it was two. Here it became three. And when we came back here, it become again two. So in this case, we found that Manhattan distance is three. So we have to make this use. Okay, best uses of this case so that we can get the maximum Manhattan distance. Now you would have got the uh, the idea that we have to uh, we have two combination. North and south, and east and west. Okay, so in the string we have to check that how many times so uh, which one came lesser number of times in n and s, and similarly for w and e. Whoever came lesser number of time, we can change that many times. So let's say this time we are taking a different example. So n s w w e w. So look for the n and s combination, right? These guys are opposite to each other. So we will look for the n and s. Who came lesser number time? So n came one time, s came one time. Okay, that's it for them. Now we will look this pair w and f e. So w came three times and e came one times. So what we should do is n and s both are same, same, right? So one of them we can convert. So let's say we are converting this guy. This s we can convert to uh, n, right? So we can convert n, n, and n. This guy also become n. Now we have used one, right? So this five would become now four because one one replacement we are done here. Now we are having w, 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 and e. So e came w and e are opposite to each other. So e came only one time. So we should change this e to uh, w itself. Okay. So we can change it to w. Right. Now we still have this would become now three, right? So now you can see one thing: we found the opposite. How many? One, one is here, and one is here. So if k was two, then also we would have got this string. But if k is very huge, that means, or uh, if it is going beyond the sum of these two differences, then it would be equal to the length of this uh, uh, this string. Okay, if k is going more. At that time, we can go only up to the maximum of this string. We cannot add the new character into the existing string. Okay, so we have to remember this thing. Okay, so uh, with this idea, we can solve this problem. And remember, we have to during this traversal, we have to track that where we are getting the maximum uh, Manhattan distance. So you would have got now idea now i will show you my code that how we are handling this situation okay so see here what i have done is i have created uh, three variable horizontal vertical and answer okay and uh, we are taking the length of this string now what we are doing we are making a for loop of it okay so we are taking the character so uh, you can observe here in this uh, uh, diagram that north and south are anchoring for the vertical And W and E, best and E star anchoring for the horizontal values. So I have put this two variable horizontal and vertical here. So whenever a north comes, okay, we are traversing through the string for every character. Whenever a north north comes, what I am doing, I am increasing the vertical values because uh, north is in into the positive side, but south is in the negative side. So whenever south is coming, then I am decreasing the vertical. Because north and south both are anyway in the vertical, n in positive, s in negative direction, and similarly for east and west, I have taken the horizontal. So east is taking positive values, and uh, west is taking the negative values. Okay. So whenever east is occurring, then I am increasing horizontal by one, or if west is coming, I am decreasing the horizontal by one. Okay. Now what will happen in this approach is like every time, whatever would be the value in vertical after this switch case, whatever is there in vertical or horizontal, till that point of character, till that index, that would be the difference. Okay, that would be the difference uh, that we were 
uh, encountering here right we initially had n and s so when we will reach here at n and s let's say n s w this is the string so when we reach here the value of uh, uh, vertical would be zero right at this point vertical was one at this point horizontal would become one so in that way we are basically just countering the values now what we gonna do here is so let's see at the code itself once we are coming out of this switch case till i index what we are doing we are because we are supposed to get the maximum of our answer so i am taking the maximum now see here what we are doing we are taking the minimum of it so math uh, horizontal or whatever the absolute difference of vertical okay we are summing them right every time we are doing the summing see here we are summing the difference x1 minus x2 plus y1 minus y2 and uh, this uh, uh, vertical and horizontal are those value only and we are taking the positive value that is why i am using the absolute difference plus k into 2 right why i am taking k into 2 you remember that uh, when we were doing whenever we are replacing it becomes two times right for example let's say i have already shown you if it is n n and s right at that time we will come back to zero place right we will go this and zero but if i replace this s with n it would become n and n in that case we will go two times right so every time we are making uh, a replacement we are getting the additional two right so if we have k values then we will get two into k so for that reason i am using here k into two so we are making the sum of these three and here i am talking we are taking the minimum of absolute difference of horizontal absolute difference of vertical plus k into 2 and i plus 1 why this i plus 1 because till the ith index this is the length of this string right if we are at the index i then i plus 1 would be the string length at that index because we are starting from 0 so if it is maximum in that case if k is very huge then we cannot go beyond the length of this uh, string right so that is why i am taking i plus one otherwise whoever is minimum that would be taken okay so then we are taking the maximum with the answer so in this way we are basically uh, doing the whatever we were doing the traversal okay for this traversal so during this period whoever was the maximum that answer would be stored in this variable and we are returning it so let me execute this code which I have already executed and let me try to submit it. So I am submitting it. Yeah, so it is 96.97% faster. So we are not taking any extra space other than these variables. So uh, space complexity is O of 1 only and we are doing the single traversal to this string. So we are taking O of N. So our time complexity also would be often. So thank you for watching this video. And if you guys have any concern, please make a comment over there. Thank you.